Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and I have 20 sticks of dynamite somewhere on my body. Don't ask me where, because you don't want to know. Welcome back to Out of Ore. Today, we're going to get back out again. I'm on a test world right now, because I'm trying to figure out the way I kind of want to go about this. There's multiple ways I could obviously set up a mine. If you did miss the first episode, we're mining over here. There's this nice rock uh, slate on this area, and uh, it's going really well, but I do want to maybe try and do an underground mine. That's probably really difficult, though. So I thought we would try our luck today and, well, just simply see how hard it would be to do an underground mine. Not only that, is it worth it? Is there going to be lots of ore deep underground? I have no idea. Plus, I just want to play with TNT because it's really fun. Now, the one thing is, this is all going to go back into the ground. You can see it's doing it right now. So maybe TNT is not the way to go. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to build a cave then, in my opinion. Unless I use some sort of conveyor system to pull dirt out. Yeah, that actually made it worse. There's more dirt now than what we started with. All right, so this is why I wanted to do a test server, because this is definitely not going to work the way I expected it to. So one more thing I do want to try. What happens if we go directly down? Will that work or no? I think it's actually, yeah, it's, it's going to build a mound upwards. So... We've learned a valuable lesson. TNT might actually be good for extracting ore because it makes more of it. And if we can catch all these things on a conveyor belt, uh, that might be a good way to actually mine. But yes, building uh, caves with this, not so much. Okay, so I placed a few TNTs just because we're here. We may as well have fun with explosives. I actually placed, I think, 70 of them. <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's see if the if the game can handle this. And okay, so they go off separately. Wow, there's actually shockwaves. Oh, this is satisfying. We are going to really freaking lag though with all these moving pieces of dirt. Can I get damaged by this? Let's find out. Oh my god, it's like a war zone. <laughs> this is way more fun than mining. Where, where the hell are they now? Oh, they're way over there. All right, uh, not interesting. Not all of them went off. I definitely had way more over here. So it seems to be like there's an explosion limit, I feel like. Uh, game could handle it just fine, though. Terrain, not so much. All right, one final test while we're at the fun play server. I wanted to see the difference between these types of explosives. So we have Dynamex. Um, I don't know anything about these things. So let's just see. We're going to blow that up. I'm wondering maybe one of these will be diggable then. This one seems to be very similar to the TNT. I actually, is there any difference? It's hard to say. Why would they have three different types of explosives if they do the exact same thing? Um, this is the ordinary TNT, which is what we've been doing. Again, very, very similar. This one might be different though. RDX, it's gray. So that means it's different, right? I was hoping one would get rid of all the uh, dirt voxels, but I don't think that's going to be a thing because that would have been great for building caves. Uh, let's find it. Oh, God. Oh. oh. What the frig was that? It just added a mound immediately. I wonder. Hold on. Maybe if I put that on a wall, that can actually build a cave. I might have found what I needed. All right, so I'm thinking maybe it acts differently if it's on a wall. So we're going to add to the only really piece of wall I have left. Please tell me this works because I am so excited if this is the case. And detonate. It lags the hell out of my game. No, it just adds. Come on, I just want to dig a cave. All right, well, I'm not sure what we learned today, but it was fun. Let's get back to the actual main save and uh, start trying to find some more ore. Ah, oh, greased almost all the nipples. Always make sure the nipples are greased. That's how you don't get chafing. <laughs> ah, but this is better. Welcome back to my actual game. Okay, so right away, I do want to maybe try and find some more ore. We do have a coal vein right over here, which is great. Don't get me wrong, but coal is one of the cheaper things we can use. So we are going to go ore hunting for the start of this episode. Now, actually, this is a, a good... Uh, I was explaining this before, but the ground is darker around veins. This actually shows how far this coal vein goes. You can easily see this is a massive vein, actually. So we'll definitely try and extract that. Um, but that's essentially if, if you want to look directly for the ore and not just, you know, brute force your way through the terrain. Uh, you you, you want to look for zones like that. So I'm going to see if there's any better ore around here that's close. I don't want to go too far because 
Uh, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get there. Looking up there, there actually isn't much darkness. I did see a few over here, though. So we're going to go down the hill and see exactly what is underneath this ground. All right, so you can clearly see a vein right ahead of me here. Unfortunately, it is quite far down the hill and kind of a dangerous slope, as you can see. But thankfully, I have all tracked vehicles, so we should be fine. Uh, if, if this is better than coal, though, I think it would be worth it to go here. So let's find out by using my new new neat tool, and we are just going to start drilling coal. God damn it, it's coal again. All right, we definitely have something over way in the distance over there, as you can see. Um, it looks to be darker than this, so I'm very curious to see if that is also coal. Please don't be coal. Please don't. Lithium! Ooh, okay. I don't know how much lithium is, but... That gets me excited. It's definitely worth more than coal because coal is the cheapest besides pay dirt. Uh, it's a trek to get over here, but it might actually be worth it. All right, I'm just going to leave this here. It'd be faster for me to just run back. I just want to go see. Wait, lithium? I think lithium was the most expensive. If that's the case, we are definitely uh, going to be working on bringing something over here. I don't know if we're going to do a massive conveyor belt or if we'll just do an external wash plant. Uh, but yeah, that's good to know. Well, I can't believe it. Yeah, we did find the best. I didn't, I didn't want the best ore in the game. Oh, I wanted to slowly go up to that. But yes, we found the best ore in the game. So it is a no brainer. I think we have to work towards getting over there. That being said, though, uh, last episode made me broke. I spent a million dollars, actually more than that, because we earned 500,000 as well. So I have $500 in my name right now and a loan I have to worry about daily. So I think for right now, we're going to do the simple thing of just trying to collect some more of the coal that is localized to here. That way we have enough money to build whatever we possibly need to get over there. So we still got this vein here. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I think I'll try and extract a little bit more of this, and then we might go over to that coal vein as well. All right, as you can see, this vein is thinning to pretty much nothing, and I am struggling. I'm actually stuck. First time I actually got stuck is the moment I talk. We might be able to get out of here. There we go. How did we do? That's probably still a couple thousand, but yeah, I'm spending so much time just trying to get this ore. I don't think it's worth the effort at this point. We have depleted that vein to pretty much nothing and that kind of sucks because i only earn well probably about twenty thousand here and that's not gonna get me very far damn it i missed the damn thing too that's annoying as well because it just builds into the ground i could dig it up i guess but uh, i keep just flattening the terrain around it i'm actually gonna go in my dozer and see if i can maybe make it possible to get a little further in there all right, so I opened it up quite a bit. We might, this might expand out again. That's the thing. I just, I can't get the grip in here anymore. I mean, it's still a decent vein. I'm trying to get this to slide in my bucket is a huge pain in the butt sometimes. That's actually a pretty good bucket. I mean, maybe there's still a little bit of money to be made here. Let's find out. If this is like another 20 grand bucket, I think it's worth it to try and continue to go downwards here. I have to flatten this ground. This is impossible to do. <laughs> there we go. 28,000. Okay, maybe there is a vein left over there. Whew. You know, I should really be using an excavator at this point. <laughs> it's so deep. I'm just trying my best to grab every bit of this, but it just goes deeper and deeper. I mean, I must have dug a 50-foot hole at this point because we started at the top, but you have to remember that. This is a legit mine at this point, uh, but it just keeps giving me money, so... Why not continue to take it? This poor thing, though, is struggling. I, I, of course, have the worst loader in the game. But remarkably, it's holding up quite well. All right, I think I'm done over there, though. Let's go see if we can maybe easily obtain the coal. Problem is, we more need an excavator for this because it's on flat ground. I can dig down with a loader, but they're not really designed to do that. I might be able to come in from the side here. Or I could rip it up with the dozer. I might actually want to do that because this is all vein all the way down. All right, so we're going to see if we can just lightly rip up this topsoil. Get rid of that because that's worth nothing. And hopefully get all the good stuff down below. I think I should start from the bottom and work my way up. There we go. That's what I like to see. Dozers are a little hard to use in this game, but I'm getting used to it. Hopefully we can build a mound. There might be some bad stuff up here, but that's okay. Uh, but hopefully we have a mountain of coal up there. All right, and here we are day two. I know it doesn't look that pretty, but I promise you it's a hell of a lot better now that we got rid of the majority of the topsoil. Uh, let's see if this is worth anything, though. That's the bigger question. 
Yeah, I just, I can't get the grip. This thing doesn't have enough power in the, in the back to actually rip this up. Did I even get anything? Mostly dirt. Oh my God. 3.1 tons of ore. $77. This is why I didn't want to move over to this one. Okay, so we got about a half load of all coal, as you can see. I'm just curious to see, because I know we're not only getting coal at the other vein. There's something lighter that's probably worth the majority of the money. So is it worth the effort to do only coal? That's basically what I'm trying to find out. And this is a half bucket, so we can assume it's probably double of this if we get it set up right. <laughs> 5,000 maybe if we're lucky. So whatever that, that white stuff is over here is truly where we're earning the money because this dark is coal. This white is whatever was giving us so much money. Let's actually go see what it is. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't actually know what it is. I mean, I could bring my thing over and actually find out, but it might be lithium because, I mean, all these are very, very similar. The only one that would be obvious is gold. Um, Now... I don't think it's blasted rock or crushed rock because I have to manually do that. It could even be gravel. I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, what, what, whatever it is, is get, it's getting us lots of money. So I think I'm going to go back to that and just try my best to extract a little bit more. And there we go. First bucket, $106,000. $22,000 bucket. What a difference, man. All right. Well, not bad. We have made it over $200,000 on a vein that I thought was pretty much dead. Why do I always miss when I talk to you guys? Uh, I think that's gonna be it. God, I, uh, did not expect the sheer amount. But yeah, as you can see, this vein is pretty much dried up. There's probably a little bit more down below. And this one's just a pain in the butt to get to. And really, it's so thin. It's not that worth it. It does look like it kind of ends right here anyway. So we, I think... I think we did a good job. We pulled $750,000 out of one vein. Now, $200,000 isn't a lot of money, though, so I don't really know how I want to go this. I can go the easy route or, you know, build a full wash plant. I think I might just test the ground first because, yeah, wash plant, one conveyor belt alone is $72,000. Um, oddly enough, the ones that go upwards are cheaper. Not really sure why, but yes. And then we need the crusher. I'm assuming we need the sorting drum as well. I don't actually know fully how the wash plant works either, so I don't want to invest into it because you cannot move things once you place them. Uh, so I'm going to have to test around first. So I think right now we're going to keep it simple. Stick with the old school way of transporting and uh, just see if it's worth it to build something over there. So I already have an excavator with, uh, I believe it's EXM or EXB. I I'm assuming the abbreviation means a different attachment type. So I might need an EXM teeth bucket. Because Yeah, okay. I just wanted to double check. I indeed do have an EXM. There is great, the grating bucket looks massive, but it's got no teeth. So if we uh, stumble upon any sort of rock, I'm assuming we are not going to have a good time. So I think the safe bet is the teeth bucket. So we're going to purchase that for 27,000. Not cheap, by the way. I'm also considering a dump truck. Uh, we are just out of range. We can get this guy, but trying to go through the wilderness with that would be insane. Oh, we can get a fuel truck too. The trailer is 73,000. I think we're actually going to do this just because I wanted to try it so badly. Having an excavator do everything for me. I load up a trailer and bring it back. Wow, that is a freaking big trailer too. I hope this works because that was a big investment. Well, I'm a little worried. I am not seeing an attach point for that trailer. So I might need a better excavator. I have the cheapest excavator as well. All right, but if we detach that, that can just chill there. That's a safe spot for it, I guess. Oh, this looks like it might work. It's not... I don't know if it's gonna, though. Please. Ah, oh, come on. What do I need for this? Okay, I've spent a fortune on excavators, obviously, in the test one. There it is! Holy crap. I don't even remember which one this is. Oh, it's the little guy. Let's just see if this thing can even get over there. I mean, this is cool, though. How cool is this? So I'm assuming I can rotate all the way around and, yeah, just load myself up. I think the one major benefit of this is just the sheer speed of getting around. So I think I might actually try this thing out because, yeah, it's having no problem at all getting down there. All right, well, let's get back to my actual save and see if we have enough money to do that. So, yeah, the only one with the attached is the EW300. It's 600. Wow. Why would it be more than this one? This one... Had a uh, monster truck steer. It. Oh, it's so confusing. The pricing's here. Uh, but yeah, I guess that one is it. Unfortunately, way more expensive than I thought. I, I think it's just because of its sheer speed. 
Uh, so 600,000. Oh, as you can see, I'm in the negative right now because of my loan. So how much do we get if we sell this? Uh, I'm going to sell the teeth bucket. Do I get 30,000? I get all my money back? Okay. At least I think that was all my money. I'm not too sure, actually. So if I sell this... Oh, this might be a dumb idea. So 539. Okay. You know what? I think this is a good investment. We are constantly in the red in the game, but I can... I think I can get more loans. I hope I can. Because there is small loans here. So if I get a small loan of 400,000, I got 30 days to pay back. Actually, 100,000 for 40 days might make more sense. I, I mean, let's get a long loan. Is there any, like, 100-something days? Seven days. Jesus Christ. Can I get multiple of this loan? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, $200,000 40-day loans. That's probably my best bet. And I hope I don't regret this decision because now all I have for an excavator is a non-tracked one. But we can at least turn it into an excavation. Oh, crap. I forgot I need an attachment for that guy. <laughs> I hope I have enough. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope for the best and do another EXM, I think. I feel like EXM is the answer, so we're going to purchase that. It is a smaller excavator, and I believe the EXM is for the smaller ones. Let's find out. I mean, it it, it looks like it's, it would fit. Okay, it is. EXM. Why does it not say that in the name like every other one? I had it. Hold on. Oh my god, this is so picky. There we go. Okay. Now, I will say I hate excavator controls in this, so it's going to take a while. But we are balling, man. Look at this. What an upgrade. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Well, this is where we be become a millionaire, at least hopefully. So let's get to work. And by work, I mean figuring this thing out. This is a big bucket, at least. So that's good. Oh, my God. Okay. So there. And scoop. No. Oh, it's all immediately. No dirt to be found. Oh, oh. Oh, God, this is going to be so slow. I don't think we're going to do a full bucket today, <laughs> but at least we know we can when we want to. How do I expand out again? Oh, no. Other way. Other way. Okay, easy now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did I get... <laughs> oh, my God. This is going to be a nightmare. Uh, no, please. That would... This is... Okay, this turned into a freaking horror game. This is hard enough with daylight. I don't want to advance time because then I got to pay my freaking loans off. Oh, God. Come on. This is... It's so hard to keep it in the bucket and stretch it out. It's just so much different movements. That's actually my best load yet. So maybe I should do this at night. I think I'm going to accept that as a load because I'm going to get stuck here if I keep digging. And I'm seriously worried about my uh, trailer flipping over. So let's just see how much this crap is worth. Um, Should I just go to daytime? I should probably go to daytime. I do not want to screw this up. All right, let's slowly get out of here and not get stuck. Please don't drop that. That took me so long to get. Where the hell's home? Oh, all the way over there. Okay. Well, it was way faster when I wasn't carrying a heavy load and going up a mountain. <laughs> I mean, it's working, but just. Okay, now for the fun part of trying to back this up as well. Everything about this is a nightmare. I don't know why I thought driving an excavator dump truck would be easy. I mean, this is going better than I thought, honestly. I am not very good at backing up trailers. If this is worth, like, 40000 though, I think the effort is worth it. Okay, I've already put it in. I don't even need to open the thing up. I can just pull it in there. So that was the majority of it. There's one or two pieces in there. Let's try and get it all. 18000 Not as good as I hoped for, honestly, but that was such a small amount of dirt. If we can automate this process and maybe not use the dump truck, because... <laughs> This was a bad investment. Why does that not open up? What is going on? <laughs> Maybe I'm doing... Oh, I, I had to let it go, I think. Oh, it's on a hydraulic? These are usually gravity-fed, so that explains why. So that, that was just my stupidity. So I'll just drop it off there. And it turned into grass for some reason. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was a bit rough, but uh, I had a super fun time trying to get over to that lithium. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. I think we will definitely try and build a wash plant there. I just got to figure out how to earn some money without getting an absurd amount of loans. So yeah, this thing might have been a mistake, but it could definitely work. It's just going to be a long process if we want to do it this way. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Out of Ore. And yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.